Today's quick coding tip focuses on what you need to know about ICD-10 PCS root operation resection. My name is Claire and I'm an inpatient coding auditor. In my coding tips and tricks videos, you'll discover valuable insights to help sharpen your medical coding skills and code with confidence. ICD-10 PCS defines root operation resection as cutting out or off without replacement an entire body part. It involves completely removing the body part, leaving no part of it behind. If any portion of the body part is left behind, then the root operation of resection does not apply. In ICD-10 PCS, a body part can refer to not only a whole organ like a kidney, but also any subdivision of a body part that has its own value in the coding system. For example, you can see here in these PCS tables that the liver has a right lobe and a left lobe as distinct body part values. The stomach has the pylorus as a distinct body part value, and the lung has various subdivisions, like the right and left upper lobe, the right middle lobe, and the right and left lower lobes. When coding root operation resection, it's important to code the resection of a specific anatomical subdivision whenever possible, rather than using a less specific code for the whole body part. For instance, if the entire right upper lobe of the lung is removed, it should be coded as resection of the upper lung lobe right instead of resection of the lung right. This is because the resection involves the complete removal of a specific body part as defined by ICD-10 PCS. In PCS, chains of lymph nodes are also considered to be a single body part. Each level of lymph nodes is considered a chain. When an entire chain of lymph nodes is removed instead of just individual nodes, this is coded to root operation resection. For instance, if the physician notes that during an auxiliary lymph node dissection, they removed all of the lymphatic tissue at that level, resection would be a, the appropriate root operation. When coding resection, it's important to know that it's not necessary to separately code the excision of adjacent structures that are inherently part of the procedure to remove the entire body part. Let's take the complete resection of the cecum as an example. This procedure always involves removing part of the terminal ileum, the ileocecal valve, and the appendix. Since it's impossible to remove the cecum completely without also taking out the appendix and some of the ileum and ileocecal valve, we don't code any excision of these adjacent structures. They're already included as part of the procedure to resect the entire cecum. So that's it for today's quick tip. I really hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified whenever I release new content. If there's any topics that you'd like me to cover, just leave a comment below and I'll add them to my list. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy coding.